kuhakikisha kwa sababu hapa ni nyumbani. Asante mawaziri ambao wako hapa na viongozi wote ambao wako hapa. Nilikuwa na mambo mbili tu lakini nafanya tatu hiyo fupi sana. Hii mambo ya historia ya ya nasewa kila mtu anataka kwa watalio hamisha hapa miaka nyingi sana wengi walikufa kabla ya jana chochote na miradi ya serikali huwa hivi inaenda polepole kila generation inaichukulia kama yao kwa mfano hii sisi viongozi wote hata wakati wa kumenyana na governor kama nilishinda hii kwa namna yajua iliyopita uh, hii eh ah uh, yeye aliweka kipao mbele mambo yanasema mimi niliweka kipao mbele mambo yanasema kwenye ukutano yetu na aliyekuwa naibu wa rais ni Mungati Kenya kwanza iliweka mkono kwamba it's a good project. Kwa hivyo ndio kuonyesha kwamba we have a convergence ya mtu na sikizana uh, from every sector. Kwa hiyo waziri this is one project we see ambayo inaunganisha kila mtu, kila kitenge kisasa. So I really think uh, bana governor we should you go ahead. Lastly, niacha niache ya pili, uh, la tatu mimi ni mwenyekiti wa Kenya Development Corporation. Hii ni benki ya kimaendeleo. Sisi tunatoa pesa ambayo uh, inaweza tunaweza wekeza, tutatoa pesa ambayo inaweza kutumika kwa, kwa kujenga viwanda ambavyo vitakuwa vinaingia. The many things we can do. Hiyo ndio sababu nimekuja hapa. Kwa hivyo mimi nitakalia huko juu wake kwa kufanya kazi pamoja na viongozi wengine ambao uh, wana PS, PS wako hapa wawili na kuna wengine tuhakikisha kwamba kuna pesa kutosha kwa wawekezaji na bwana Toma ushalo wako hand in hand tugange ya jao asante makofi kwani unajua mimi lazima nimshukuru kwa sababu yeye kama mwenyekiti na waziri wetu hapa na mheshimiwa rais William Ruto tuko na miradi tatu kubwa hapa Busia ya serikali ya kimataifa mradi huu ambao unaendelea na ile mradi ya EPZ na wale ambao wanafahamu karibu bwana Malala wewe mheshimiwa Malala welcome na mradi huu ni mmoja mradi wa EPZ pia wale ambao wanaona juzi baraza la mawaziri kule Nairobi mkiangalia vizuri mtaona kwamba program ya EPZ Busia already pia imekuwa kata before so hii area pia itafanya EPZ nataka ku clarify hiyo ingine ni ile mradi ya irrigation scheme ambayo iko bunyana pia nimeona kupitia hawa marafiki zetu na mheshimiwa rais pia zaidi ya bilioni mbili na nusu zimewekwa kwa hiyo project na hiyo tutazungumza because of time sitaenda lakini nitaka tu lifafanywe hivi Mnikubalie pia mwenye kandarasi unajua wetu wengi hatujakuona Just come here usimame hapa ndio tukujue kama unakaa kama mwizi ama uko sawa sawa Wapi mwenye kandarasi Haya jitambulisha haraka dakika moja Thank you very much eh mheshimiwa gavana Mimi ni kijana wa nyumbani Isewa nanga ngwe Samuel Wanzala Ndula Matayosi ni sie ni kijana barubaru nyo bahora mirimo nda khonranga mirimo national government so, Bano bano kucha gao sieko mpaka changara nyo ba sababu muiche kuchake mirimo kino in line with the bottom up fuesu kunyole nga kunyola eto ngono na hadi owe owa kikisira mwezimi wa gavana mwazo kuna bebera haba ishendi mwana uwenyimbo thank you very much wana kamwe samuel wajara mwene seahawk general logistics limited asanti haya oyo ulano ni wabona wachisa ende jaibi re mwama mwona sumesikia yu kwa sababu mimi nataka kushukuru serekali kuu kauti kama kwa sababu hapa tunataka watu wajirimu so mnikubalie tu kwa ufupi tafadhali kwa sababu hii ni sherehe rasmi niweze kutoa hotuba rasmi our chief guest honorable moses kuria
national government officials, honorable members of parliament, our senator, our county assembly led by the speaker, our fellow distinguished guests. Truly today is an honor to welcome our chief guest here to today not only grace us with being available but carry out a sacred responsibility for groundbreaking ceremony of Nasewa Aggregation Park and also today we are going to be doing cotton distribution to make sure that there is integration between what we are calling what Best Economic Revitalization Program, the National Government Bottoms Up Economic Model, and our National Recovery Program under Vision 2030, and also Busia being a pioneer, and I want to attest this to the people today. We are the first county to mainstream in and have a, almost a standalone digital economy and sustainable goals achievement agenda under the UN program and charter, which I had the privilege to attend last month to represent the national government here and the great people of Busia, together with my brother uh, Fernandez Barasa of Kakamega and uh, Otichilo of Vihiga. Busia County Aggregation Park aims to support oil crop production to transform from a fragmented supply driven to an aggregated demand driven and quality oriented following the following objectives to facilitate production and employment attract investment integrate into east africa community value chains and facilitate export promote structural change diversification of production into areas of comparative and competitive advantage. Stimulate research and development and innovation, technological capabilities, and develop competitive human resource in upgrading our enterprises. We are also going to develop this industrial park and the physical infrastructure, as it has been talked before. The road from Butula passing here all the way to Nambale and to Amukura. It is our plan that that road, we need to tarmac it to open up this business. Our road that we have just used from Matayos to here, we also have plans to have it tarmac so that it is completely integrated. And then the infrastructure that is going to be developed here. We also want to support sound environmental management and agro-industry, specifically in crop production. As we do this, we are all aware that we must mainstream gender and social inclusiveness. All Wanainchi must fill this project. And we have already told the contractor, we want the people of Nasewa, from the time construction starts here, we want the business community, kama weni mutu unasupply mchanga, unasupply mawe, huko na hardware, huko na mkona ya kufanya kazi, Charity tunataka yanzia hapa, lakini we also want to feel it from Changara to Osieku. Diyo watu wote ni watu wakusia. Hata itaingia kule town, hile pali na hitu wa marachi kule. Pale town. Because hile biyashara ilikuwa inafangika huko, haita fangika ten. Hila mtu atakula nyashu yaki. That will not happen. And I want to be very clear. Everybody will have to work. Wele kama uluko mezoea, Atikazi yako ni kutisha watu Ama unataka kula bali ujapanda That one has come to an end So I want to tell Our small brothers Pale Marachi town That kind of behavior Hiyo imekwisha busia That Marachi part is part of busia And is going to behave like busia Hakuna kitu ingine itapanyika hapa I also want to tell you now These are the achievables that we want to do we are going to put almost 17,000 acres under cotton. And I want to thank national government because today we are going to 17,000 acres, I mean, tons. I'm going to put a zinua leo na wakulima wa taanza kupewa. 
that is going to put in the economy here 3.5 billion pesa ile ambayo itaenda kwa wakulima to keep we feel that we are going to put 5000 hectares under groundnuts that is going to give us over 10000 tons again another 3.5 billion that is going to come to the economy of Busia we also want to put 15000 hectares under soya beans that will again give us almost 3 billion shillings into the economy of Busia na hiyo ni pesa itakuwa inaenda kwa wakulima ile mtu ambaye alikuwa apati kitu na hiyo vitu bidhaa hiyo ndio itakuja hapa kwa factor we also are going to do sunflower na tutabana pia simsim so watu wa Busia i want to tell you mmesikia kwamba tumewekwa kwamba Busia ndio county maskini ya mwisho but i want to tell you through this program we want to be among the top 10 counties in Kenya that is our dream and we are going to achieve that in our lifetime i want to tell my brothers here the members of parliament our senator our transformative agenda is to improve the livelihoods of our people during our tenure hii siasa inakuja tu na inaisha mliona tukingalana na kunyasi sasa hivi tunafanya kazi pamoja mimi natafuta hata yeye saingine ananiambia pitia hapa ndio iko pesa because it's about our people it's not about confrontation na kila mtu anafanya kazi my senator is very strong ile tu pa lingine labda najua anapenda taranes lakini sasa hivi maisha si hiyo hivyo lakini hii maisha lazima you must sleep with the devil to move forward you know the utopian things don't exist but is tara because in the process of doing that he is also bringing discipline juzi nilikuwa kwa senate nikirudi hapa niliambia ulisikieje maswali senator aliuliza mimi nataka majibu and you have seen because of that adam i have reorganized the government i have completely reorganized the government tumeona hiyo hata hii ndugu zangu jirani zangu hapa kwa stage walikuwa nafikiria si jua ngo anapanda serikali yangu niliona juzi wakibeba mata but it is all in good faith hii wafanyikazi wa serikali can work anywhere so long as tunaangalia huyu anaweza kufanya hapa kesho jaribu pa pale and we want that inclusivity so mimi nataka kushukuru the presidential team especially the economic secretary economic transformation secretariat agostin and your team i want to thank you since the president william samoi ruto told me i have given you this team mwende mufanye na watu kazi watu wagusia in these three to four years we want to see economic transformation and busia is going to be an example to other counties that's why program inakuwa launched here so lazima kuna kitu tunajua pia hiyo county zingine pia zingetaka ziwe za kwanza lakini sio za kwanza busia ndio yakwa ya kwanza otoma ni kama na wazimio serikali ni ya Kenya kwanza lakini mu Kenya ni mumo mmoja na hiyo ndo tulielewana na rais tukasema tufanyie watu wa Kenya hii njia siku nyingine tulikuwa na yeye kwa ODM ya akaenda siku nyingine mimi nikawa jobless 2017 akaniambia sasa wewe ona mambo yako nilikuambia hivi usiji sasa ona mimi ni deputy president na wewe ni jobless sasa juzi niliambia mheshimiwa who is my friend William Samoi Ruto kwamba wewe ni president na utoma ni governor so mimi tu niko na serikali yangu ya busia hapa wewe uko na ya Kenya si twende kazi basi tunaenda kazi na akanipatia hii waziri yangu huyo anaitwa Kuria ni tractor niko hapo na kasoro zake hapa na pale kama kila binadamu but when he believes in something he has the same passion hata hapo sasa mmeona my waziri kwamba anataka kuona those state corporations za pamba za busia so that zitafutiwe pesa na kunyasi ni huko na pesa so tumeona mukoka and you have been order don't think i'll give you another order so mnikubalie because of time not to read everything but to kimaliza mambo ya devolution conference i want to assure you that i'm going to visit each ward kuona kwamba hii maneno tunazungumza inafanyika kwamba mbolea ina distributiwa extension officers wanafanya kazi mbegu zimedistributiwa watu wanapanda so mniexpect nitakuwa kwa ward 
wala wanani expect that niende nifanye siasa ya kuaddress watu busia hiyo mtasahau kidogo nitakuwa kwa words nikitembea nyinyi tutakuja kupatana hapo mbele tutajisort na nyinyi hapo mbele tumeelewana hiyo so hii watu wananiambia sijui nifanye mikutano sijia nini mimi i have told you there will be no free money there will be no free lunch everybody must work so mimi nataka kuingia kwa words kuanzia after the revolution thing na mambo yetu ni kupanda pamba sasa production ya kuingia hapa na soko kutafuta soko na waziri wetu tumesoma na wewe nimekaa kwa meza yako paka hata sijui siku hizi inanijua nimekuwa kwa ofisi yako mara mingi umeniona nikitafutana na rais mara mingi na mmenitaisaidia watu walikuwa wanasema why busia why busia lakini mnasema hapana utoma hapo sawa hapo aligned vizuri ya naongea mambo yake hakujangi hapa kusengenya watu ya nafanya maneno yake na utoma si mtu wa kununuliwa utoma ndio mtu wa kununua watu ndio mtu gani kusema utoma amenunuliwa nini hiyo ni shauri yako wewe ni ngoja 2027 tumeelewana hiyo mmenishika vizuri so kuanzia after next week ni mambo ya ukulima hakuna vitu ya siasa ukulima eba hatuko ni bandu otuunda wewe unakuja kutuambia sisi tuanze kutuunda eba kwanjo tu eba kwani kingi bandu otu sisi tulikuwa tunatoa chakula yetu na boma mzuri boma ya heshima ni ile boma inatoa chakula ya kuto hapana mimi ndio tuunda tuunda bino hiyo hasia ni kali chenye kuwe sijui kama wanajua kuunda mtawaambia kwa hayo mengi wacha mimi niseme hii yote ni furaha that Busia is the first county to start implementing economic transformation program in collaboration with the national government under their bottom up economic model i'm very happy and i'm pleased waziri karibu sana wewe mtu ni mtu ulikuwa na yeye university huko na alikuwa na sasa mimi nilikuwa waziri yale kuwa mtu ya mkono yangu nikienda kwa tundu huko yeye ndio alikuwa anaambia chimba hii shimo vizuri sasa yeye ni waziri lakini uzuri pia mimi nikawa Tabana wa Jimbo la Busia Kirere atoko Mheshimiwa Tiano Rodrigo Gesa Otoma Mheshimiwa Senator Okia Omtata Katibu Mkuu wetu wa chama cha UDA Mheshimiwa Cleopas Marala Makatibu wakuu ambao wako hapa Marafiki wa Jimbe ambao wako hapa Mheshimiwa Odanga mbunge hapa Matayos Mheshimiwa Mudeno ambaye hakuja hapa leo Mheshimiwa Kaunya pia ambaye amenituma kutoka huko Keso North Mheshimiwa Emmase Mheshimiwa kutoka eh, Mheshimiwa Mulata na waheshimiwa wote na watu wote wa Busia Mrembe Mrembe bosi Mrembe hadi Mwana wangu Msanga lile Mwana sifiwe Nisalimie kwa mkono Tumekuja hapa leo kwa sababu kwanza ya maendeleo Na kabla sijaongea nikataka kuwajulisha tu wasalimie kwa ufupi wale tumetoka nao kutoka serikali kuu wakiongozwa kwanza nitamuita principal secretary wetu wa upande wa crops yani wa kilimo wa mmea mheshimiwa Kero Halsama akuje tu ndio mmejue na unajua leo tuko na ile shughuli nyingine ya kupeana pamba ambao tutapea pamba hao watu wote karibu bwana Pies sana waziri mrembe mosi mjambo tena kwa jina mimi naitwa Kero Halsama mimi ni principal secretary katika idara ya crops wizara ya agriculture nimefika hapa siku ya leo na waziri wetu wa trade to launch eh, hii mambo mazuri tumekujia leo ya industrial park na pia kupeana mbegu ya pamba katika kaunti ya Busia ningependa tu kusema kwa haraka kwamba department yangu ya crops ita promote upandaji wa pamba katika kaunti eh, katika counties 24 na tutaanza kupeana eh, mbegu 
wakati wote mbele ya showtrends wa sasa so that kila wakulima waweze kupanda na pia tutaweza kuajiri extension officers kumi katika kila ward Kenya kila ward yote katika Kenya ni elfu tatu uh, elfu moja mia tatu na stini na tutaajiri 13,600 extension officers kuchunga mambo ya pamba na crops zingine. Tuko pamoja kuhakikisha kwamba ukulima imewezeshwa na tuweze kusaidiana asanteni sana. Asante sana. Sasa wacha nimuite mtoto wa nyumbani katibu mkuu wa Hasla Fund, katibu mkuu wa SME, msichana wetu hapa Susan Maneni. Muchomno, uh, thank you uh, waziri wetu wa biashara kubwa, biashara za matajeri. <laughs> waziri wa uchumi. Uh, kwanza kabisa, vali ya murio? Yeah. Emuri ya poliai? Yeah. Mure Asante ni sana. Uh, Gabana wetu uh, na viongozi wote wa kiwemo wa jume. Na kila mtu ambaye mekuja hapa siku ya leo kujionea history ikifanyika hapa Busia County Busia County katika huu kando wa, wa East na Central Africa hamjambo tena ya yeah, sa so, kwanza kabisa your excellency governor of Busia it is called bottom up not bottom lakini na kuelewa kwa sababu ilikwenda pande nyingine kwa mnazama bottom bottom ni hizi lakini bottom up ni kuinua kutoka chini kutoka wapi haya asante sana ya pili waziri mimi ningependa kushukuru hao wananchi wa Busia kwa sababu hao wananchi wamekuwa kingojea maendeleo na nataka kushukuru uongozi pia wa governor na viongozi wetu wote kwa sababu baada ya kula walisema siasa tuweke kando tufanye nini maendeleo na this is the first time in the Republic of Kenya 60 years after independence that you are experiencing county industrial park so industrial area see itakuwa tu Nairobi itakuwa ta wapi busia na hebu kupigie makosa ya wengine jambo la pili nikielekea kumaliza nataka kushukuru rais kwa sababu ametuweka katika ile wizara ya kusaidia wananchi wa chini na wale ambao wanafaa wasaidiwe kabisa hasa ni watu wetu hapo kusia na nimeona kila mtu akisema hivi hivi ni sawa kila mtu amechangia twezi sema hakuna mtu hajachangia hapa si no kweli si kila mtu alifanya lakini unajua msichana akiwa hapo kwa barabara si kila mtu anamtamani lakini mwenye anamweka kanyumba ndio wa kwa hivyo mimi nashukuru uh, senator Okio Mtata wakati tu ya sego tulipoungana kama viongozi wa western kule Naivasha mimi nilikuwa napiga simu kwa viongozi wote wa Busia kinaokea hapa nakwambia nimpigia simu na viongozi wengi kinakudodea na nikuniambia mambo yanasai kwa vipi na tukapeleka plan kubwa sana pale kwa rais wetu hapa alikuwa deputy pale Naivasha tukasema sisi watu kutoka western hapa Busia all that we need is industrial park si ndio hivyo na akasema kitu ambacho atafanya ya kwanza ni kwamba atakapokuja atakaposhika uh, uskani wa nchi ile industry ataweka mali pa kwanza ni wapi hapa ametenda ajatenda si ametenda mlano bandi wa Busenya so kwa sababu ndio siasa si sahihi usukume maendeleo kana kila miaka kirano kurele milimo kurele basi baraka befasi na Mm-hmm. Contractor, nimesikia hapa watu wanapeana directives. Hata mimi kama pia hizo mahasa naacha nikupe directive. Ile sababu kubwa tunafanya hizi hizi maendeleo ni kukreatia vijana wetu nafasi za kazi. Kwa hivyo 50% ya contract zote za kusupply hapa na sewa ikijengwa, ikuwe mchanga, ikuwe simiti, itoke kwa vijana wetu na wamama kama hawana pesa mimi nakuja kuwapanga kuwapatia nini pesa lakini contract hizo tender 
tutakuja kushirikiana nao tuone kwamba msitoe mtu mbali kuleta hapa si vijana wako hapa si twaweke kwa mikundi tuwapatie hasla fani wa supply hapa mmekubali kufanya hivyo usupply vindo anoda kwa hivyo mimi nitahakikisha kwamba hiyo imefanyika na governor utansaidia mwisho kabisa tangu tuanzishi mradi wa hasla fani najua group bado tunakuja kupangana na nyinyi hapa busia tayari shilingi milioni miaine, sabini imekuja hapa busia makofi na nitaambia kwa nini pesa inakuja hapa na tume tayari watu 275000 busia resident unajua mtu akikopa lona hizi kuambia amekopa wametukua hii pesa lakini kwa nini pesa haijapanda juu kwa sababu hatulipi vizuri payment yetu ni payment yetu ni 68.5% watu wa Busia sikusomesha mbele hii pesa hata ifike 1 billion ikwe manguka hapa Busia mtasongesha mbele mtasongesha mbele asante sana ya mwisho ni kuleta salamu ya kwanza za waziri wetu pia ambao natoka hapa mheshimiwa Ababu na Mwamba ambaye ni waziri wa michezo za pili ni kuleta salamu za waziri wangu ambaye anashughulika na mambo ya ushirika ambao mmeona hizi vitu za cotton mwanza kutengeneza hizi mashirika na tutakuja kutembea sasa kijiji kwa kijiji tutengeneze mashirika na mambo ya biashara za kinichini mheshimiwa waziri Simon Chelvui pia amwasalimia si ndio hivyo Nimeuliza mambo ya barabara tulipanga tukijota kwa pia na barabara. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa wakutoka na mbale mheshimiwa Odanga, mheshimiwa wa Butula tufanye kazi pamoja na tukitoka hapa jioni mimi sitarudi Nairobi na wewe. Mimi naomba tu governor leo utupikie kwako chakula cha jioni sisi waheshimiwa wote yule atatuongoza njia ni mheshimiwa Odanga. Si ndio? Kwende tukule wapi? Kwa Na kila mu mtu ili tumalize tujipange tuongee yetu nyumbani hii ili mradi ifanye haraka haraka ije alafu mambo ya grupu nitakuja kutembea kuanzia next week kuelemesha asanteni sana na Mungu afanye nini bali Mungu akonyoke kanga da nyoke kanga na rela da siko arete if you want it done say it tell a man if you want it done tell you asanteni sasa huyu pia zinani alikwambia mimi merudi merudi. Watu kama haya watu kwa watu watu. Ah, wewe sasa ni wewe. Mimi sina haraka mimi na wewe hapa. Kama unaenda wewe mimi na Oyula na Ganga tuko hapa. Tuko hapa pia na mwenyekiti wa shirika la ile kampuni yetu ya nguo, kampuni ya Libertex na ambao watu watakuwa kununua ile pamba ambao tunatoa hapa anaitwa Mheshimiwa Cleopa Zagata asimame pahali hapa usanii hapo pale na sasa tunajua hii maneno lazima tuchekanishe yote tuko na mtu ambaye juzi tulimruhusu aingie katika mikutano ya baraza la mawaziri na ndio aweze kuangalia vile tunafanya kazi na kupiga ripoti kwa nyinyi na kutupiga kiboko wakati atuwaji kazi. Katibu mkuu wa chama chetu cha UDA Mheshimiwa Kereba Sara Malala kuja usalimie wa hai. Asante sana waziri wetu Mheshimiwa Mose za Kuria, gavana wetu wa nguvu Mheshimiwa Paul Tuoma viongozi wote ambao wamekuja hapa leo hebu tusalamiane bwana Yesu asifiwe mimi kwanza nimefurahia kwa sababu leo ndio siku nimeona kwamba ile umoja ya watu wa mkoa magharibi this is the way we should be working kwamba ikuwe umoja ya maendeleo na mimi nashukuru sana uongozi wa Busia County ukiongozwa na gavana wenu hapa mimi nimeona hapa gavana wenu na wabunge wenu wote pamoja na seneta wenu wameshikana kwa mnajili ya maendeleo. Mimi ningependa kuomba kaunti zingine za mkoa wa Magharibi kwamba viongozi sasa waweke siasa kando tushikane tulete maendeleo hapa nyumbani. 
tusikue watu wa kulumbana lumbana mimi nimefurahia sana kwa sababu busia mmeonyesha mkoa wa magharibi mwelekeo mzuri ningependa kuomba governors wengine hata kama mlichaguliwa kwa vyama vingine tafadhali tuweke siasa sasa kando tu support ile serikali ambazo zimechaguliwa serikali ya hapa busia ni serikali ya azimio lakini sisi tumesema hata kama gavana ni wa chama gani sasa hivi ni saa ya maendeleo sisi tutasimama na gavana Otuma aendelee kufanya kazi yake na mimi nashukuru kwa sababu huyu seneta wenyu ni seneta super ukweli wa maneno ukitembea Kenya nzima yule mtu amepigania wananchi wa chini ikwemo hata mimi ni huyu seneta wetu huyo mkio mtata na mimi namuunga mkono hata ikifika 2027 hii muzifikirie tena mambo mengine eh hii mkae na huyo ukio mtata si ndio na ukia utuombe kwamba hii project ifanywe na ifanywe vizuri sababu vile nimeona leo hapa waziri hii project hakuna kitu tasimamisha hii project hii project ile pesa gavana ameweka ile pesa rais ameweka niko na uhakika itafanyika ipo tu kitu moja inaweza fanya kwamba hii project isifanyike ni sema ni sema kitu moja lakini mimi naona 90% itafanyika ile kitu mimi naona itafanya hii pesa ya hapa isifanyike ni kwamba huyo ukio mtata akishinda ile kesi yake ya pale ya kusimamisha pesa ya finance bill pesa itakuwa itashindwa kukuja hapa mimi naomba tu ukia tafadhali tafadhali uruhusu tu pesa ikuje tumalize hii project tafadhali leo nitaongea na wewe nyuma ya tent nikuombe pole pole tafadhali ukia kwa hiyo toa hiyo kesi kotini sisi tusonge mbele si ndio mwisho kabisa ni kuambia waziri waziri wetu wa trade na waziri wetu wa agriculture mnafanya kazi nzuri na mimi kama katibu mkuu ambaye nimewekwa pale kuangalia vile mna implement manifesto yenu mimi ninasema kwamba ni vizuri sana kwamba mmeamua kuja kwa ground wenyewe mu launch project na vile katibu wa hasla amesema yule contractor wa hapa mimi najua sasa vile tukisha launch project tukienda contractor anaweza amua kuleta watu kutoka nje mimi naomba tafadhali tukitaka tusaidie jamii za hapa hata kama hatuna experts it is the responsibility of the contractor a train vijana wetu wa hapa karibu pia wao wakuwe experts wasaidie wafaidike kwa mradi huu mimi na community ya hapa otherwise mimi nikuashukuru kushukuru governor wenu this is a super governor this is a super governor mimi nawaambia mimi sielewani ni yeye kwa masuala ya kisiasa hapo kwa chama kingine ambaye siwezi taja lakini yeye ni mtu mzuri kabisa he is a smart guy let us support him and he has the uh, confidence of delivering for the people of Busia na pia sisi kama serikali tutasimama na yeye tusonge mbele pamoja thank you and may god bless you asante sana katibu wetu mkuu sasa wananchi wa Busia mimi nataka kuambia kwamba siko hapa nasema kwa makosa na siwa ni siko na kazi ya kufanya na sio hati nilikuwa nimepotea jia. Nilikuja nasewa kimakusudi. Nilikuja hapa kwa sababu mwaka uliopita nilikuwa hapa. Wakati tulikuwa na economic forum pale Mungazi. Nikawasikiza mkaambia rais wetu wakati tulikuwa tunatafuta kura ya kwamba town ambazo zinakuanga kwa mpaka ya nchi moja na nyingine kwa kawaida zinakuwa na pesa mingi zaidi. The only town ambayo iko kwa mpaka na iko na umaskini ni county ni town ya Busia. Na tuka hapa na rais ya kwamba hiyo mambo itakuwa tumeweka e, katika kaburi la sahau. Nimeambiwa na rais ya kwamba Busia town ni ile town iko na chama 
kikundi kinaichidanga jobless mimi nimekuja kuvuja hiyo kikundi leo watu wa jobless tunataka kuwaona nyuma ya hema hiyo kikundi lazima tuvunje kwa sababu leo ile kazi tunaanza hapa ni kazi ya kihistoria katika kaunti zote 47 tunajenga mradi kama huu wa county aggregation and industrial park mazao yenu pamba sunflower palm oil sesame hizo zote pamoja na mchele kuliko zinapotelea kwa shamba tunaweka viwanda hapa zingine zitakuwa ya serikali ya county ingine itakuwa ya serikali ya kitaifa na mingi zaidi zitakuwa za wekezaji hii mradi awamu ya kwanza itaajiri watu nikikadiria wasiopungua watu elfu tano wakiwemo hao wanachama wa jobless ambao hapa hamsia so sasa tutawaita ile chama cha employed yale waajiriwa sababu kutoka leo tumeleta kazi hapa Busia. Awamu ya pili au mradi mmeambiwa kwamba tutakuwa na IPZ ambao tunajenga hapa. Na hiyo ni mradi ya serikali kuu. Sisi tunatoa shilingi bilioni moja kuanza hiyo mradi. Ile ya kwanza ni ya shilingi milioni 500. Ni ya pili na hamsini ni ya huyu gavana wenu Paul Nyongeza Uchongo. Ni ya pili na hamsini ni ya Rais William Ruto na mimi na serikali kuu. Hiyo sio maneno mazuri. Simu nipige tu makofi jamani. Mnapatana wapi pesa kama hiki ya siku ya jamani. Hiyo ni jambo ya kawaida. Na hiyo mradi ya IPZ ambao itatukae gharimu shilingi bilioni moja wiki ijayo tunaiweka kwa kadara kwa gazeti tuweke tenda ndio ikifika mwezi mmoja hivi mmoja na nusu tunarudi hapa kuanzisha hiyo mradi wakati huo sio mimi nitaongoza tunajua hata kwa biblia John mpatizaji alikuja akaenda zake alafu Yesu akakuja na mimi nataka kufuata Yesu sababu mimi ninapenda Yesu kwa hivyo hiyo wakati mimi nitaondoka sasa rais mwenyewe mwenye kazi atarudi hapa anasewa kuanza mradi ya awamu ya pili ya IPZ iko na awamu ya tatu awamu ya tatu ni ile tunaleta investor kutoka nje juzi katika baraza la mawaziri siku ya Jumanne wiki hii muliona nilipeleka mapendekezo na ikapitishwa kwa wale watu wa benki ya kufikia Afrika pesa ambao si ya kukopa wamekubali na wamepitisha kuweka hii katika uchumi ya Kenya investment shilingi bilioni na ishirini katika hizo bilioni bilioni na ishirini bilioni arobaini itakuja hapa na sewa Jamani si tumefukuza umaskini hapa. Na hizo zote sio tu mambo ya wale watu watatu hapa. Tukimaliza hiyo mradi ya tatu phase 3. Kwa tumeajiri watu 1500 direct jobs hapa katika Nasewa. Na hiyo ndio kazi tuko na maana haja nayo. Kano na hayo. Hii kiwanda tunajenga hapa itanunua pamba ile ambayo tuko na mradi pale Butarangi ambapo tunataka kuweka ekari 1020 katika ukuzaji wa pamba. Na wiki tayo niko na wageni mimi na rais kutoka nchi ya Indonesia ambao ni maarufu upande wa mafuta, upande wa palm oil, upande wa groundnut, upande wa eh, hizo zingine zote simsim, upande wa sunflower na nitawaleta hapa. Na tumekubaliana na governor tutawapatia shamba waanze kutengeneza mafuta yetu hapa tuwaje kuagiza mafuta kutoka nje wakulima wake wale watu watafatiwa kazi hapa ambao wataandikwa kazi ambao watafaidi kwa mashamba yao tayari serikali ya gava na utuoma imeandikisha wakulima 1110 na tumekubaliana na gava ataendelea kurejesa 
Mie anirejesa wale watu ambao tumepea borea 110,000 Tunakaka hii kaunti ya busia Tuogeze idari ya wakulima Walio sajiriwa Wafike wakulima Elf miambili Na hawa wakulima Wakileta mazawa yao hapa Tutakuwa na hile tunaita contract farming Ni kusama ya kwamba Kila mtu katika kaunti ya busia Awe mama, awe mze Awe kijana, awe nani Directly or indirectly Atakuwa meajiriwa kazi Na hii mladi Abao tunaleta hapa nasewa Na sisi hiyo diyo kazi Abao tunakona haja nao Saa hii tukimaliza hapa Tukona begu ya pamba Ya hawamu ya kuanza Abao nitakuwa nimeanza Exercise ya kupatiana Tukua na agamana na PS wetu Na pia Tunarudi hapa Na begu ya hiyo mengine yote Diyo tuweze kupereka Busia yetu mbele Watu wabusia mla hukulagia hiyo maneno Na mla mwesikia Hii maneno Tuko na 3-1 hapa Tuko na hii aggregation Tuko na hii PZ Na tuko na special economic zone Hiyo tutunika 3-1 Kuna zikine tuko na Special economic zone Na na pia maneno ya aggregation Na kuna hikine hiko na aggregation You are the all among the very few counties, only five counties, put your court all three in one. Na ni kwa sababu, razima tukukuze umasikini haka. Na sisi ya tukati kujua, hata wewe uwa chamagani ya wewe chamagani, tumeamua tunapereka maendeleo katika pembe zote za Kenya. Hakuna hile pembe haba utaacha nyuma. Na mimi kuwa hapa, ikuwa diyo mladi ya kwanza tunazindua, ni hakikizo ya kwamba tutafanya hii mambo katika kenya mzima ama mnataka tupereka pembe zingine tuwache zingine kwani watu wa hayo na watu wa hapa matayos na watu wa kakuzia kwani si watoto wa mungu pengine nini si wasi ya huda wa kupo lakini bado tili ya wili ya mbluta hata nini kwa nakasi ya kendo hata kama ni kado na nini minajua amuku wekelea sana katika hii amuku wekelea lakini hata kama amuku wekelea tumeaza hapa kwa sababu kama wae siyo siyahoda wa leo, siwe ni siyahoda wa kesho. Na mwana mula vani, mulajua kufanya makosa siyo shida. Shida ni kufanya nini? Ni kunudia, sinio? Si sana tutasabili pamoja. Si tutakuwa pamoja. Si ima nilio ikafaili kila mtu. Na mulajua ajuzi wakati tulikuwa pale katika ule economic forum. Kuna mzaa moja niliona huo kwe tukiambu. Edi ya liongea kwa niyaba ya wafuvi. Hii kusia ni ya kila mtu. Hii kusia ni ya kila mtu. Mbuka na makabila yote hapa. Kwa hivyo hatuwezi kusema, hati ya zasa hapa, hapa ni kwa wahayo, hapa ni kwa wazamia, hapa ni kwa wajaru, hapa ni kwa nani. Hii Kenya ni yetu zote. Na tutapereka maendeleo katika kila pembe ya Kenya. Na hata wale watu kutigia ya kula. Tutapereka mitu mbili. Ya kwanza ni maendeleo, na ya pili ni maombi wako. Kama na mlagani. Na mimi ni tuangalia hivi naona mta wako kama na mna wani Sina mna hiyo Na ni imalize kumuambia Rafiki yangu wakia mkata Na mpira ya mesema ni rafiki yangu kapisa Tuko na maono inakaribiana Si mna wana kisirani ya mkata na yangu Inakaribiana kiasi ama na mna wani Na hiyo ni mkatoliki kama mimi Na wana katoliku na juwa tunauluziwa Labi ziyo mingi kidogo sababu tunatumbu labi mimi na omkata ni watu wa kutubu labi Mimi na jua omkata leo atatubu labi ya hiyo kese ya kwa nazi Mwere ni limuambia pale Kwa sababu, ndiyo, tunajua hii kisa pali ya nasewa imeaza pali Na najua, wewe ulikuja hapa na umipigana Tulipokuwa na wewe Mombasa Nika kuopa eruhusa Nika kuambia dugu yangu omkata Wacha tukue that generation Ambayo Haika baki na shamba iko wazi pae na sewa Waja tukubukwe Kwa mba generation mingi zimekuta mwakila Sama hapana hapana nikushua tunashua Uzijeli wewe Kwa hivyo mimi nikona hakika ya kwamba Seneta hako hapa Dani ya imu ladi Kama na wetu otuama Kuna watu wengi Wanasema ziku wala shule Uu otuama tunuzoma na ee Niko na ushuhuda ni mebeba Kwa hivyo wala wanasema haka ziku wala shule Otuama iko hapa Halikuwa nasama kapete ingine, tunaita kapete ya ngombe Kamilikuwa na ngambo ingine, kapete ya pesa Na leo, 
kabete ya ngombe na kabete ya pesa zimeshirikiana kuleta maendeleo kwa wananchi wa Busia na wananchi wa Kenya. Kwa hiyo ndugu zangu nimetaka kuomba tushirikiane. Nyinyi nyote hakuna mtu anakulanga kwa utuoma. Kuna mtu anakula kwa utuoma hapa kwa nisipokuwa zote yake. Kuna mtu anakulanga kwa mdata. Kuna mtu anakulanga kwa odanga ama kwa oyula. Nyinyi nyote kila mtu anakula kwa wakati mbaya. Kwa hiyo mujipende. Uunge mkono ile maneno inakuhusu wenyewe. Mimi wacha kunisaidia, mimi nimejisaidia. Wewe jisaidie mwenyewe. Unga mkono ile maneno itakusaidia. Sasa unaenda kusaidia hata Yesu alisema msinililie mimi. Mjililie nyinyi wenyewe. Na mimi natumai wakati mwingine watu wa Busia mtapiga kula kwa kujipenda. Mpende masuala yenu. Biblia inasema upende mtu mwingine kama vile unajipenda. Haikusema upende zaidi. Kwa hiyo kwanza nyinyi mjipende nyinyi wenyewe. Ndio muunge sera ambazo zitawafaidi nyinyi wenyewe. Nimalize kwa kuwaletea salamu za rafiki yangu kijana, kijana ababu pia na mwamba waziri wetu wa michezo ambaye hajezi. Hajezi na kazi. Leo hii mimi niko hapa Busia. Mnajua ababu na mwamba ako wapi? Ako nyeri anazidua milamu kumiradi ameendelea huko nyeri. Sio hiyo Kenya tunataka. Yaani mkikuyu hapa kwa hali. Na Musamia hapa Mmanyala yule anaitwa Ababu na Mwamba hapa kwa wakikuyu. Sio hiyo Kenya tunataka. Kenya tukae pamoja, tukae kama wandugu na pia nimalize na kuwaletea salamu za Rais William Samoei Ruto. Mmezipokea? Mmezipokea? Niwaambie, niwaambie mtaunga mkono hii mradi. Na nimwambie tutavuta ile chama ambaye aliniambia inaitwa Jobless. Na tukaenda hiyo safari pamoja. Na wakati mwingine mmetubu dhambi. Na mtapiga kura kwa kujipenda kuliko kupenda viongozi. Mungu abariki na Mungu abariki. Asante sana.
interesante.
each ward, sub county, on planting this planting tree plant in that order. Just some 